Hi and welcome to module 11 which is on automating your uh, architecture. So in today's guided lab we'll explore how to use AWS CloudFormation to automate infrastructure deployment. Instead of manually creating every EC2 instance, VPC, subnet or security group one by one, CloudFormation allows us to define everything in a template. This template acts as a blueprint that AWS can read and then automatically build the entire environment for us. So during this lab, we learn how can we launch infrastructure stacks, update them, and then even delete them with just few commands. This makes our deployment faster, more consistent, and less error prone. By the end of the session, you'll see how CloudFormation helps us in managing the infrastructure as a code, giving us more control and flexibility while reducing the manual overload of managing resources. Uh, this is comparatively shorter lab as compared to the other labs as they are saying that it would take only 20 minutes and uh, after preparing the environment first of all we'll um, deploy um, a network layer and we'll follow the instructions over here now just keep in mind that you'll have to wait for a while before the uh, status changes to complete before proceeding to the next step and then uh, we'll uh, do application layer and here you'll find lots of yaml files so in this lab i would highly recommend to download all of them you might see three of them in this lab first of um, all it it would appear in task number two then on three also you'll see it in updating the stack and then uh, finally uh, we'll be working on exploring the template with aws cloud formation and uh, in task number five we'll be deleting this stack and then we'll submit the file so uh, you'll find these file links uh, at three different places um, in this lab so just download them and keep them handy so that uh, we can work on it uh, as soon as we'll be on that step so let's start working on task number one it says deploying a network layer so in this step we'll deploy a networking layer um, of our infrastructure using a cloud formation template this will automatically create resources like vpc subnets route tables and gateways so by the end of this task we'll have a solid networking foundation that other layers of our application can build on so we are starting the task number one. The, uh, keep in mind that the best practice to deploy infrastructure is in layer. So we'll go according to the same best practices like going from network to database and application. So we'll be starting this lab with one of the services which we haven't tried before. So it would be cloud formation. Click on that one. After that, we'll click on create stack and we'll select the first option as with new resource standard. Now here we'll uh, keep the prepare template as choose an ex existing template, but in the specified template, we'll upload a template that we downloaded earlier. So the first template that we found in the lab manual was labnetwork.yaml. So we'll click on that one. And after that, press next. Now here we'll have to provide a stack name. So stack name details are here on our lab manual. We'll copy it from here called lab network and then we'll create a tag called application and inventory. So we'll enter the name as lab network and then press next. Here it's asking us for the tag. So we'll enter the details as it was there on our instructions manual. So we added application and inventory over here. We are keeping the same options over here. Other options are optional, so we'll press next. Here you'll just review the settings of it and press submit. So the template that we have just created, it's used by AWS CloudFormation to generate a stack of resources in AWS account. Now, as you can see that it's saying create in progress you'll have to wait till it becomes available as you can see that it has created but still working on the others so we'll wait for a while till it's complete so after a while if you'll refresh it on your left hand side you can see that in stacks your lab network status changed to create complete now further if you want to see the resources which are created you'll click on it and click refresh you'll be able to see the resources that are automatically generated 
and in that one you'll find an internet gateway a public route your public route table public subnet and the associations of it and vpc and vpc gateway attachment so it has automated and created everything just by uh, uploading a simple yaml file further if we'll go to the templates you'll be able to see the template which was used and you can see complete details of it if you want to copy you can click it um, click this button to copy it and even if you want to check it in infrastructure composer it would open another tab and you'll be able to see it in the infrastructure composer where you can see the public subnet and vpc and its related details so we followed these instructions and now we are going to start task number two which is the application layer. So now we we'll apply the application layer on top of the networking layer. This template would provide EC2 instance secure and security groups and related configurations needed to run our application. By the end of this step our uh, application infrastructure will be up and running inside the network we created earlier. So as you can see there is another YAML file. We'll create another stack with the resources and we'll upload the template and then we'll specify the name for it as lab application and lab network. So you can copy these details and then likewise we'll enter the tag details as application and inventory. So to deploy an application layer, we'll go back to stacks by clicking on this one. If you want, you can see the menu items over here and we'll click on create a stack and we'll choose the same option with new resources standard as we did earlier i'll select the upload template file and this time i'll upload the second file that we have just downloaded so select the lab application file and then press next after naming it as lab application press next click on add and we'll enter the key and take values for it so I entered application in inventory as we did earlier and after that just scroll down, press next, uh, review the settings over here and then click submit and wait for it till the status changes over here to create complete. Now after a while refresh it and you'll be able to see the uh, status as create complete. Likewise you can go to the events and see the details here. Under the resources you can see the resources which are created and if you'll go to the template you'll be able to see the complete details of the template over here. So we have completed step number two and now we are going to task number three about updating a stack. In this task, we'll practice updating CloudFormation stack. Instead of recreating everything from scratch, we can make changes to the template like adjusting the instance size and adding resources, and then apply those updates to the existing stack. This shows how easy it is to evolve and maintain infrastructure over time using automation. So we'll be working on our EC2 instance and then we'll go to the web services group and check the inbound rules and we'll have to create the inbound rules according to the information which is on your instructions manual. So as they mentioned, we are going to our EC2 instances. And then on our left hand side, we'll select security groups. After that, select the web server security group you'll be able to see the inbound and outbound rules here. So under inbound rule, as you can see that currently there is only one rule in security group and that rule is permitting our HTTP traffic. So now we'll have to go to our cloud formation and update the stack. So for that, we'll have to go up and type in here cloud formation. And open cloud formation again and we'll go to the stacks and make sure that you have downloaded this lab application 2 file as well so here we'll click on lab application and now here as long as your lab application is selected you'll click on update stack and uh, click on create a change set and you'll select the option as replace the existing template 
and now you will upload the template that you have just downloaded after that select the file press next check the settings here press next we are not making any changes here again review the settings and click submit so now we just updated the lab application template with the updated file that we recently downloaded now refresh it you'll be able to see update complete over here now we'll go back to our ec2 console again and again we'll go back to the security groups and now if i'll click on my web server security you can see that before we had only one inbound rule which was uh, port 80 now we have another https rule for 443 this rule is added only to demonstrate the ability to update the stack using the cloud formation template application is accessed on port 80 only but we just showed that how can we add another rule over here so now we finish this step we are going to start working on task number four which is exploring template with aws cloud formation designer and here we'll use AWS Cloud Formation Designer, a visual tool that lets us view and edit our template in a drag and drop interface. This helps us in understanding the relationship between the resources and make it easier to design and modify the infrastructure. So by the end of this task, you'll have a clear picture of how all the pieces in our stack connect together. So again, in order to work on it, we'll type in Cloud Formation. And then click on this button and we are going to click on a thing called designer so the designer has been renamed as infrastructure composer click on that one and here you'll click on file and you'll select a template file and select infrastructure 2 file that we downloaded earlier sorry the lab application 2 file so i just uploaded it and you can see that it's a graphical user interface where you can design the network and make modifications etc so with the help of this designer you can easily design the resources on your network so this composer will help you in visually understanding the architecture and the cloud formation etc and further you can either create it as a template or um, save it or upload the files that you have it already in your system after that we'll start working on task number five which is deleting the stack so finally we'll clean up uh, by deleting the stack cloud formation will automatically remove all resources that we created by the template networking applications servers and everything else would be deleted so this would ensure that we don't have or we don't leave behind unused resources that could cost money so by the end of this step we'll see how cloud formation handles full lifecycle management of infrastructure from creation to deletion so we'll go back to cloud formation uh, click leave so we are here again click on cloud formation where we were before click on these things if you want to see the stacks your stacks are here now we'll click on for example lab application as they are saying and you'll see an option over here called delete now it's asking that delete stack lab application permanently if you want to delete just press delete and it would disappear from here now it would show delete in progress you'll have to wait for it till it disappeared from here so you can refresh it and see once the status or once this thing disappears from here now after a while if you'll refresh you'll see that your lab application has been deleted so it's saying delete complete so if we'll go back to our stacks you don't see that lab application here anymore so that shows that the application stack was removed but the network stack remained untouched this scenario reinforces the idea that different teams if for example network teams and application teams can manage their own stacks now we'll verify that snapshots of the EBS volume was created before EBS was deleted or they are still there. So in order to check that, we'll type EC2 over here again and open our EC2 instances. And on left hand side, if we'll click on snapshots, 
and here for this one you can see the snapshot status as completed so it means that the web data with a started time in the last few minutes and it has changed its status to completed if you want to see the details of this one you'll click on it and you'll find the other relevant information on it so by this we have completed the lab and we have accomplished a fully functional cloud architecture that is both resilient and elastic ensuring that our application stays available even during failures and scales efficiently as user demand changes these are the same principles used by real world production systems to achieve reliability and performance at scale that's it for today thank you very much